In this screencast, I will demonstrate two techniques for obtaining a subset of features from a vector layer in QGIS, filtering and selecting. I have three vector layers in this project, the 10 million scale ocean and country layers from Natural Earth, and the world database on protected areas from Protected Planet. I want to display only the protected areas in Tanzania. Whether doing this by filtering or by selecting, I need to run a query on the field that contains the country information in the protected area layer. Now to find the name of the field, right click on the protected area layer in the layers panel and select open attribute table. I have the table already open and I see that the last field, ISO 3, is the one I need. It contains the ISO 3 lettered abbreviations of country names and the one I want is TZA for Tanzania. Firstly, I will filter for the protected areas in Tanzania. Right click on the protected area layer and select filter. In the query builder box, scroll down to the ISO 3 field and double click it. I then build the query ISO equals TZA in inverted commas. Click test to verify that the query works and in this case I see that it will return 618 records of protected areas. OK. OK again to run the query and now only the protected areas in Tanzania are visible. For most purposes this is the simplest way to obtain a subset of features. To clear the filter return to the query builder uh, clear and OK and now I can see all the protected areas in the surrounding countries are visible as well. In some cases, however, it's more useful to save the subset as a new shapefile, especially if the map layer is large and therefore slow to display. To do this, use a select query. Click, click the Select Features Using an Expression icon, which opens another query builder. Find the field we need in the Fields and Values list, ISO 3, double click it and then build the query in the same way as before ISO equals TZA. Select to make the selection, close and we can see the protected areas in Tanzania have been highlighted. To centre the selection on the screen you can click the zoom to selection button and the last stage is to save the selection as a new shapefile right click on the protected area and select Save As. Provide an appropriate name and location for the new shapefile. I'm going to use my desktop and I'll call the shapefile simply TZA. Make sure that the Save Only Selected Features is ticked and that Add Save File to Map is also tip ticked. OK, and now we've got a new shapefile added to our map and we can remove the original database of protected areas. And the last thing I want to do is to change the fill for the new shape file to my preferred colour. And there we go, that's it.